We've got two weeks to go in the regular season. The chase for the NCAA bids really heats up this week. A couple games we're keeping our eyes on. The Patriot League tournament at the Naval Academy on Friday and Sunday. Navy comes in as the favorite. They're the top seed. They'll play Army on Friday night. Keep in mind these two teams met two weeks ago. The Naval Academy seniors have never lost to Army. Both teams have been struggling in the clearing department. Really, the reason why Navy lost to Hopkins last week was their clearing performance. 10 of 19, which squandered a 9 of 21 shooting performance by the mids. Army, I thought they looked solid against Duke last week, but many times in the clearing game, clears broke down and Duke got transition. And Zach Greer had five goals on seven shots, and many of those off Army fail clears. Colgate and Bucknell in the other semifinal. Colgate's won five straight. They beat Bucknell last weekend. The loser of that ball game is toast. I think if Navy wins the Patriot League tournament, that league will only send one to the NCAAs. Ohio State, Notre Dame, Great Western Lacrosse League Championship in Columbus, Ohio on Saturday. They're expecting 70 degree temperatures and sun. Could be a huge crowd. The Buckeyes, one of the best man down defenses in the country. Joel Delgarno and Kevin Buchanan, their best two players on offense. And Joe Bresci in his 10th year looking for an NCAA bid. Meanwhile, Notre Dame, in their last eight games, defense unbelievable, allowing less than five goals per game. Joey Kemp between the pipes, uh, and he's a guy you got to keep your eye on. It's Ohio State and Notre Dame. Our ESPNU game of the week is Syracuse at UMass Garber Field. This is a situation where you win, you stay alive for the playoffs, you lose, you are done. Syracuse comes in winner of two straight after three and six record after their loss to Cornell. UMass last week lost a tough one to Georgetown. It was a game I watched closely. Great comeback. They're down six to two. They rallied behind four assists from Brian Jacovina. But Georgetown came back. Craig Dowd, two extra man goals late in that ball game. Now Syracuse has given up a lot of goals, 11.5 per game. Good news is they're scoring 12 and a half per game. Faceoffs have been really an area of improvement. John Jerome and Dan Brennan of 60% for the season. My favorite player on Syracuse, the most consistent and their biggest threat on offense is Mike Lavelle. He's been sensational this year. He's a left-handed attackman who can score in so many different ways. Transition, isolations, cuts inside, and he's become a ter terrific passer. The X factor for Syracuse is their defense and the goaltender, Peter Colaccini, 51%. He was outstanding last week late in the ball game against Albany. He's at his best at close range shots. He really moves well on his line and can make the big time save. Where he has struggled this year is mid range and outside shots. Colaccini and Syracuse surrendering about 40 shots per game. They'll need to get that number down in the lower 30s if they're going to make a run into the NCAA tournament. Heated rivals, UMass and Syracuse, Saturday, 3 p.m., ESPNU. You can read about it right here at Inside the Cross.